A lot of people really get stuck on these types of puzzles, but keep watching for one simple trick to make it much simpler. Hello Haskellings, and welcome to day 14. We first split the input into two sections using InteractG. Then we can parse each of the lines in the second section using a parser that parses the characters and the ASCII arrow like this. The first section is only one line, so we can use pattern matching to grab it. For the second section, we can use ParseList. We need to step through 10 iterations, and for each, we will look up the inserted character for each adjacent pair. So let's break it down into a getPairs function and a function g that will do the lookup. So g will take the pair and return a list with the new item and then also the second of the original pair. Lookup returns a maybe, so let's just do a from maybe space. GetPairs will then just return all adjacent items as a list of pairs. And yes, I really should be using zip with for this. Anyway, the last thing we need to do is to get the popularity counts, and we can use our histo function that we developed on day 6 for this. And then once we subtract the highest pop count from the lowest, we're done. Part 2 is exactly what I feared, more iterations. This is a problem because the resulting string will grow exponentially and completely blow out the memory requirements. So we need to find another approach that doesn't use so much memory. The trick is to avoid doing all the insertions together. So for each pair, we can keep track of which iteration it's on and just work on these in a depth first way. Let's start by removing the stuff we don't need from part one. Then we can write a function d that takes one of these three tuples and returns the histogram for the end result. If we're on the last iteration, just return the second item and its population of one. But if there are more iterations to go, use recursion to combine the results after doing the insertion. The way we get the inserted character is the same as before. To reduce appended histograms, we need to group by the character and then sum all the population counts for each one. Let's not forget about the very first element, which we can add into the concatenation of running D over the rest of the pairs, then combine it, and then sort by the pop count. If we rename that to H, then we can just uncomment the old definition of F. But before we do that, I'd like to try to make this a bit more efficient by memoizing the D function. To do that, it's as simple as importing memotria, then replacing D everywhere with a call to memoD. I guess I haven't got that installed, so let's do that now. And typos aside, that now looks good. And so with that, we're done for today. So, as always, happy Haskelling!